Hello and welcome to this CK challenge question 40. My name is Alok Kumar and today we are going to discuss a new challenge question for the CK exam having the weightage of 5%. So we provided several test question on the CK exam and I received a very good response from different different social media platform either it is a Facebook, LinkedIn or YouTube channel. So People when uh, certified get certified in the CK exam they tagged me on the LinkedIn or they message me through the Facebook or through different uh, social media platform after the successful completions and uh, my actually videos help me him to um, have a better understanding how the questions uh, asked in the CK exam and how you can uh, tackle the difficulties of the question and how you can resolve in the time management. So now we are going to look into the new questions uh, that says about creating a new service account handler in uh, in the name spaces project test. So you have to first verify either the project test is exist in the class environment or not uh, before uh, creating the service um, account. If you don't know about the service accounts, you, you can consider it as a non-human account in the Kubernetes that is called a service account. It's a provide a distinct identity in a Kubernetes cluster. Uh, the pod, the system component uh, entitled inside and outside the cluster can be used as the service account credentials to identify uh, that as a service account. Okay, so this identity is useful in various situations, including the authentication to the API servers or implementing the identity based security policies. So this is the definition of the security uh, service account. After that, the question saying about to create a role and role binding both have the same name handler. Okay, these should allow the new uh, service account that you created to only create a secrets. So you have to use the verb, and uh, for the, that you have to use the resources type. What is the resources type you have to allow for the creating of the secrets and the config maps in that namespace only? Okay, so this have the complexity of 5% uh, because you should know about all the syntax either you are using imperative way or um, declarative way to create a resources. So imperative way will be faster. So you have to use several things like you have to create a name spaces if it not exist, you have to create a service account, the role, the binding. And all these things you have to use through the uh, imperative way to make the uh, make the performance faster in the exam uh, because we have to do the time management uh, as well because in the exam you will have uh, around 14 to 17 questions depend upon the sets that you they assign to you and you have to complete it within the two hours. Okay, so each uh, uh, questions will uh, you have to need to handle in a different different clusters. So now uh, jumping to the lab session for the demonstration. Okay, so this is my EKS uh, environment where I have the EKS client that I am using to connect with the EKS cluster. Okay, so currently I am connected with the EKS. Okay, so kubectl get ns. This is the ns is the short code of uh, namespaces. So currently we don't have uh, the namespaces that is mentioned in the uh, in the question the project uh, test. So we have to create a namespace first. Okay, where we have to perform all the things. Cube, CTL, create NS. Uh, we, I'm uh, again using the sort code. You can use the namespace as well. Project test. So this is the namespace that uh, we are currently creating. Okay, so namespace is get created. Let's verify it. So you can find that the project test is now created uh, five seconds ago. Okay, so this is the new in namespace that we created. Okay, so now we have to create a service uh, account. Okay, that service account name name is handler in the namespace project test. 
okay so kubectl create as a this is the short code of the service account name is handler okay and the name is space we are going to use as a project test we just created it okay so kubectl get as a where in the name space project test we are just verifying either it is created or not it's a better good to have uh, all the information before processing okay so uh, we created default is the um, default means it, 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 in any space name space when you create a new space or you can use in the default name space you have the service account with the default already exist so we created handler okay now i am going to create a role okay so let me verify either we have any role in the nemesis because we already created a new as uh, name space so whatever we have in the def uh, we have the default one so no need to verify we just going to create a new role handler okay and there there we have to use the verb to create and the resource we are uh, going to use as a secret and config map in the namespace of the project uh, dash test okay so cube ctl create role okay name is handler the verb is equal to create okay and the resource we are going to use secret and config map okay in namespace project okay so you can see that it's good get created here okay and now what i am going to use now i am going to create a role binding with the same name handler and then we are going to use the role that i created with the handler we are going to assign it okay so cube ctl create role binding okay name is handler role what we created the role with the with name uh, the handler and service account the name of the name space is project test and the name is handler inside the name space project test so this will create a role binding okay so role binding is currently created now we have to check uh, can i perform the create uh, secrets or create config uh, using um, uh, this uh, this role in uh, in the in a name space project dot test so we need to verify it as well before leaving the cluster for the other questions so cube ctl auth can i create secrets as where we are going to use the system and colon service account service account and then the name is space project test after that handler and then in the name is space project test so the it this command will uh, give you yes or no yeah, so that uh, you can know that i am eligible i am authenticated to perform the create secret okay using this service account 
so you can see the message is coming as yes you can check it for the uh, config map as well because we created uh, uh, the a uh, verb is created is create for the resources uh, secret and config map so we can verify it for the config map as well so you can see it's a, i'm allowed i'm authenticated for for do, do creating a, a config map you, as well but uh, let me uh, change it for the other resources which is not allowed i think because we didn't provided the resources like deployment so you you will find the message no we are not allowed we are not uh, authenticated to create a deployment so in this way you can tackle this types of problem in the uh, CKA exam so hope you like my video if you didn't subscribe my channel yet please please subscribe it it always motivate me and share it with your friends as well have a nice day thank you